What's up everybody, Josh Riel here with Jim Vavida. Last night we just had the Golden Globes. Full spoilers for the Golden Globes. <laughs> um, uh, and we're gonna look at all everything that won, right. or some the big categories, and try and see what this tells us about what we can expect for the upcoming Emmys and Oscars. Yeah, I, let's start Let's start with the Oscars. Um, well, let's start with Best Picture. Best Picture now. Last night, The Revenant and The Martian won. Right. So, Right. Well, you know, they obviously the Golden Globes have a Best Picture drama and a Best Picture comedy musical, which uh, Oscars don't do. You get, but they can have up to ten nominees in, in Best Picture now. Uh, I think, in a lot of ways, the Golden Globes don't really indicate much of anything for the Oscars. Oscar voting is already closed. The nominations come out later this week, actually. Um, so I think what it does is it, it creates sort of in the in the uh, campaigning for winners it can definitely help uh, influence it. But in terms of the actual nominations, things that's already done. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the Martian is probably going to get a, uh, uh, a best picture nomination. I think the Revenant will too, but. I would say that neither of them will probably likely win Best Picture. I still think. Really? I think Revenant has more of a shot because it's the uh, kind of the uh, auteur film mm. of this group. But I still think something like Spotlight, which got uh, didn't win anything last night, still has a shot at winning Best Picture. It has been generally kind of a front runner. Uh, Hurt Locker lost a bunch of Golden Globes and still won big at the at the Oscars. So it could be another situation like that. Huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, for the Best Actor category, one that you know everyone's talking about is that will Leo finally get his Oscar? Yes. So last night Leo <laughs> won for The Revenant, yeah. and Matt Damon won for The Martian. So what what does this mean uh, for Leo's chances? I, I think I think Leo's pretty close to a lock. I I, I feel pretty comfortable saying that. He more than likely will finally get his Oscar. Uh, you know, Steve Jobs uh, and Michael Fassbender had been, you know, had a lot of traction there for a while, and then the movie tanked. And it just, it's not really coming up uh, in a lot of conversations anymore. Uh, Matt Damon did not get a Screen Actors Guild nomination, which is pretty telling. So I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's going to be a serious threat to, to Leo getting his Oscar. I, I still think somebody like Fassbender might, but I feel like at this point, it's it's Leo's to lose. And <laughs> he's lost it seven times, so yeah. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say that, but I, I feel like it's, uh, I, I think this is his year. This is his year? Yeah. Okay, man, I don't want to see him cry, so I hope he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for Best Actress, uh, Brie Larson won for The Room, and J-Law won for Joy. That's uh, for right. drama and, and comedic. So, what do you see? Uh, well, I, I think it's also interesting to point out with the the Golden Globes. We're talking about uh, two two very different voting bodies here. Of the Golden Globes are uh, foreign press in Los Angeles. Okay, and we're talking about I think it's less than fifty people or something like that, just in the dozens. The Oscars is the Academy voting body, members into thousands, like I believe over 5,000. Um, so that's that's the big difference right there is one is just a group of press that can get a, uh, invited to events and get access, and the other are the people who actually work in these things, know these people, hmm. vote for their friends or vote for the thing that they feel like it's their time. So I think Jennifer Lawrence uh, she had kind of dropped out of the best actress conversation there, like Joy didn't really find its footing. Mm -hmm. But I think Brie Larson is going to be, if she doesn't win best actress, she's definitely a, a very strong contender. They want to give that movie something, it's a two performance movie essentially. Um, so, and, and it's an actor's movie. It's an actor's movie and, and she's, you know, I think she is very likely to win best actress. I'm not going to say she's a lock because Whenever you have to go up against Cape Blanchett, I'm just saying, oh, yeah. don't don't mess with the Aussie <laughs> on that one. Don't mess with the Elf Queen, okay? That's right. Um, so you know, here at IGN, uh, Mad Max: Fury Road right. won our Best Movie of the Year award. It did. Um, and uh, and we also all really love Star Wars: The Force Awakens, obviously. Yeah. So is there any Oscar <laughs> hope? For either of those movies, not in best picture category. No, my, my, my not even a nomination. Oh, a nomination probably for Fury Road. Star Wars, I'm not so sure. Maybe they'll, maybe. I mean, the original Star Wars got nominated for mm -hmm. best picture. 
But I, I feel like at this point, um, uh, as well reviewed as Mad Max Fury Road is, critics are not, uh, by and large, uh, Oscar uh, Academy members. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't think uh, the voting body of the Academy is is as in love with Mad Max as the rest of us are. But I do think that and Star Wars, Wars will will probably do quite well on the technical side. Yeah, as they they normally or would. Or even like best cinematography maybe for Mad Max. Oh, I can see that. I mean, so it, it's not that I don't think it will go home empty-handed, but I it's not I, I just don't see the Academy voting for that movie. Really, and yeah. I think this was a great year for uh, women in these in these kind of big genre movies like yeah. Furiosa. And yeah. Daisy Ridley, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, I felt the force, okay, when I was watching her <laughs> performance. So I, it, no acting categories. Like no. normally, those kind of movies never get no. acting love, right? No, 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 it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Furiosa. Yeah. Okay. Although I will say that, and I don't know if you're going to bring this up, but I do think, of all the the locks this year, uh, I think Leo and probably Sylvester Stallone for Best Supporting Actor for Creed. He did win the Golden Globe and the fact that all the actors gave him such a, a heartfelt standing O yeah, and actors huge. are the biggest voting block. I think, yeah, I think he's get a really good shot at, at getting that Oscar. Okay, cool. Hey, yeah. more power to him. Okay, so that's our, our movie talk for the Oscars. Let's we'll switch to the Emmys to TV. Uh, last night, Mr. Robot won for Best Drama Series and Best Supporting Actor and Actor. Actor. <laughs> and, uh, and Mozart in the Jungle won for Best Comedy and Best Comedic Actor, so they right. uh, they cleaned up a little bit. So uh, does that say anything to what uh, Emmys they'll be getting? I mean, the Emmys are, are farther away than the the Oscars are, you know, for uh, the the Globe movie winners. Um, my understanding is is that basically the the Globes reward the thing that's new, mm -hmm. the, the new talent, fresh faces, the hot thing of the moment. Uh, whereas the Emmys are a bit more tried and true, uh, more kind of uh, uh, more of the favorites in that regard. Uh, that's why you see things like you know Veep winning or Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad, that kind of stuff. Um, so I don't think Mr. Robot is, you know, the affair uh, did well at the Globes, and then it was yeah last year. I believe it was like virtually forgotten by the time the, the Emmys rolled That's around. That's true. So I, I don't I don't really see Mr. Robot having unless unless look unless it really becomes a real like uh, tough campaign and they're really sinking money into it, who knows? But I, I don't see it. You know. Interesting, I, I personally like the Mr. Robot and uh, I, I do hear a lot about it, like it's still sort of in the conversation. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's enough to yeah. get, give it some, let yeah, it ride I mean, that wave. It's same too also with uh, Mozart in the Jungle. I mean, it's, it's you know, Amazon and, and like Transparent and that, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll see if uh, just on the actors alone, maybe they can, get some wins there at the Emmys, but you know, it's still many months away. So. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, another category that was interesting last night was that Rachel Bloom run for Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, um, yeah. which is a CW show, and last year, um, Jane the Virgin, uh, Gina Rodriguez, she won uh, CW's first ever Emmy. Yeah. Um, so do you think that, you know, Lightning could strike twice, the CW will get another Emmy, possibly for Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? I mean, possibly. I, I think that, uh, you know, again, to point out that the Globes favor the, the hot thing at the moment. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the CW, I don't think people can scoff at the CW anymore. Yes, it's a lot of superheroes and a lot of abs on that <laughs> show. <laughs> but but beautiful people. <laughs> but, but, you know, it is, it's a popular network and, and uh, it's, it's entirely possible. I just, again, like the conversation, the industry conversations of and what happens in shows that are coming up between now and the Emmys could you know, determine mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the, the race. I want to see Flash and Arrow get some Emmys, yo. Like Grant we'll Gustin's to... really doing a good job. No, no, okay. I, I, Flash and Arrow, maybe they're the uh, the the Mad Max and Star Wars of the uh, yeah. on the Emmy side. You know? Goodness, fanboy, fanboy is tough to get love in the mainstream awards. I yeah. gotta say, you know. Yeah, I I love those shows. Well, speaking of things I love. Oh, here we go, here we go. Lady Gaga won <laughs> last night. Um, for best actress in a limited series or motion picture on TV. <laughs> yes, and also pretty much broke the internet with that gif of Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, which uh, he like bumped him and he gave her a glare. Yeah, he gave her kind of the stink eye, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, 
that she's popular. She's and super. She if, could maybe they'll give her a, a nomination down the line. But. I could see her definitely getting an, an Emmy nomination because it's yeah. funny because it's like you the want you want her to show up at your party. Celebrities are yeah. already being nominated for these, but they love rewarding outside talents. Like she's right. the most famous person, not famous for acting in that room, right? Yeah. Last night. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they love to do that. As far as the performance goes. Um, I, I really did like what she was doing, but she had a lot of more like just presence acting of like, yeah. she had a very like quiet, like dark role. And it wasn't really, I don't know, when you think of acting, when I think of like Kirsten Dunst in Fargo, I'm like, well, that's acting. That's like yeah. crazy. So I, I, it's sort of a surprise that she's getting it. But on the other hand, it's it's the way people vote, again, is that they like yes. to reward, like, oh, like Lady Gaga is in this show. Well, we I mean, did, think we about it. If you're a Hollywood that. foreign press and Lady Gaga shows up at your party, you give her you're, an gonna, you're gonna remember that, you know? <laughs> yeah. um, whereas, you know, they've probably interviewed Kirsten Dunst a bunch of times. Whereas, you know, with the Emmys, I think the quote unquote proper actor will, will probably be, you know, you think win, so? but yeah. you know, I don't think it hurts their 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 ratings either. If uh, Lady Gaga shows up, it got me we'll to say. watch. It got me to watch. Listen, <laughs> thank, congratulations, Lady Gaga, and I love that it's also they awarded it to Lady Gaga, not her real name, <laughs> like Stephanie Dramata. <laughs> he knows um, everything about all things Lady Gaga here yeah, on IGN. Yeah. So. so yeah. Well, yeah. So those are our our, our guesses for the Emmys and the Oscars. Uh, for, for more on, on those uh, fronts and the nominations when they arise, keep it here on IGN.